Today, we're going to talk about trying, trusting, and truth in yourself as a small business owner, as a leader. Before I get into that, I'm Jen Tracy. I'm the founder of Lift Strategies, where we work with small business owners and leaders to discover missing opportunities for growth, strategic growth, both on the coaching side to support you as your coach, and secondly, as marketing strategy. So let's talk about truth, trust, and try. And this morning, you know, when I was preparing for this, I had this song in my head by Janis Joplin, try just a little bit harder. And it was a live version that she was doing, and she was telling a story beforehand. It was hilarious, hilarious to me anyway. She was talking about how she couldn't get up in the morning (laughs) till three o'clock, actually, in the afternoon. And so one night she came home really, really late, and it was like the sun was starting to come up. And she thought, I'm going to hide under the stairwell And I'm going to see how other people can get it together, like they can really get it together before even getting up before noon. And she saw this woman leaving her apartment and walking down the stairs and counting out the door. And that really (laughs) made her want to (laughs) try. But, you know, here's the thing about trying in our lives. Janis Joplin, as you may know, I mean, she's a rock star, so she's up late. She also had a drug addiction due to feeling lonely and isolated. So we're going to take those variables out of this situation in this moment and put it in the context of running your business and being a leader. We do need to try, right? Trying is an essential way to move forward. We need to make an effort if we are nervous about doing something and we don't take a chance or give it a try, then it's never going to happen. But there's a difference between that sort of trying and the trying where you are trying to get people to like you or trying to sell something or pushing in a way that just doesn't have any flow to it. When you are trying and making so much of an effort in a way that's like putting pressure on you where you can't really be present in what you're doing because you're trying, then that isn't effective to working. And originally I was going to do this video talking about trying and then trust, but I felt that there was another piece in here that's important as well, which is the part about the truth. With truth, what is that about? What does that mean? Well, we all have our own truths in our head because we are always thinking about what the truth might be for us. And that might be a story that we're creating because as soon as we have a thought and we keep thinking about that thought, then we start believing that thought. And then that becomes a belief system that we have. However, that can stop us from moving forward with things that are really important. So not only are you, if you're trying to make this effort to try so hard to do something that you can't just relax into it, but if you have a belief, a truth, a belief and truth that it's not possible or only other people can do it, or the truth is that you might be able to do it, but you're gonna mess up. And you know what? You might mess up. It's like when I record these videos, I could mess up five times and then have to go back and record again. But that's not because that I believe the truth is that I'm going to mess up. I just give myself permission to do that, which is very different to give yourself permission to mess up in something (laughs) versus the truth is that you are going to mess up. So you're never going to be able to do this, never get it done. So trying and truth can really get in the way of success, just success in terms of connection with others, the way that you can organically and naturally have a conversation with someone. Those become barriers. And so this is where truth comes in. And before I say this, I just want to let you know, if you're watching this video on YouTube, it would be great if you just click that 
thumbs up button, write a comment and press the subscribe button so you get future videos. And if you're not on YouTube and you're watching this, well, just give the thumbs up wherever you are. <laughs> so let's swing back to trust. When I'm working with clients in coaching, one of the things that I've learned that's really important is to be in a place of trusting, trusting that I am a good coach, trusting that I know what I'm doing and trusting that the client is going to get exactly what they need from the session. You know, as a coach, a client can come in and ask for something specific that they're looking for, getting unstuck from something or trying to get to a different place. However, they don't, they come in because they don't know the answer to that. My role as a coach is to trust that in this process that we're having this coaching conversation that they are going to be able to figure it out. That's the miracle. I don't have to do the heavy lifting. I need to be the accompanying person and, and the person that asks the questions that come to me as I'm coaching. But it's not for me to push for the result. It's for me to trust that things will work out. I want you to think about these three T's. Try, truth, and trust in your own life. When do you see yourself pushing too hard, pushing too hard? I remember at a certain pivotal place in my life, I realized that most things are not an emergency. And, and so when I realized that, that most things are not an emergency, it helped me to relax and not have to try so hard. What is that going to be for you in your own life? How are you going to become aware that when you are pushing because you feel you have to try up here in, in the penthouse suite, that that's actually going to get in your way? And then the truth, where in your life are you thinking and thinking and thinking about something and then creating a belief around that that's stopping you to move forward in your business, in your personal life, in a, in a decision that you need to make in the next 60 minutes. <laughs> because that's going to get in your way. And this is where trust comes in. This is where you need to trust yourself and trust the person that you're having the conversation with or trusting in that you will come up with the answer if you're trying to solve your own problem or you're going to a coach and trusting yourself still that you'll come up with the answer, but they will help you like myself who helps many small business owners and leaders figure out the answers because they can get to that place of trusting themselves to come up with that answer. It's amazing that when we have this feeling of trust, that we become equivocally resourceful. Isn't that powerful? So think about that in your own life. Share your comments below. Really want to hear what your perspective is on this. The three T's, we'll call it the T trifecta. <laughs> and let me know. Again, I'm Jen, Jen DeTracy, the founder of List Strategies. And I will see you soon.